welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Uh, sorry for I'm, uh, not doing one last week. Truth be told, I was a little too exhausted to stream. But that was then, this is now. Let's begin. Uh, let's see, we've got vulnerable blocks here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've got, got her a bit more. I'm, uh, I was thinking of, like, maybe trying to stream Terraria that day instead of Oracle of Ages. Because, like, with Terraria, it's a little relaxing. But, um, uh, um, uh, I didn't want to stream that single player, and Daniel wasn't up to it, because he, um, uh, he, um, he had plans with his girlfriend. And I thought to myself, fair enough, it's not that big of a deal. So I just took the time to have some rest. Alright, I think I need to beat these, these Paul's voices with bombs. Seems to be the case. Ah, damn it, so close. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Alright. Alright, seems to be a pretty small dungeon at least. Small in terms of um, uh, flaws. That must have been blasting people's eardrums. Yeah, um, uh, I, I have the um, uh, desktop audio set to max whenever we do a Terraria stream, just because I'm uh, I, I'm gonna keep the game volume down so you can hear Daniel as he's um, uh, co-commentating. Oh, really? I have to do this again? Alright, well, at least I got more bombs. Yeah. I'm, uh, just going on to, to that real quick. Um, uh, the Terraria videos haven't came up yet. Um, four days from now, the, the first one will. I have to say, I'm amazed, like, how quickly I got back into, um, uh, Terraria. It's... It's very clear to, uh, two things became very clear to me. Uh, one is that um, a Terraria is way more fun if you've got friends playing with you as well. It's also more efficient because um, uh, two people can do um, uh, d different tasks and get more stuff done. Like, I've never been able to get some um, uh, hard modes this quickly. And um, uh, the other thing is... I am terrible at that game. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I love the game, but I'm... It's very clear. There was a loud sound far off, like something being knocked loose. Okay. But yeah, um, uh... I've came... <laughs> I've discovered that I'm pretty bad at the game, and it's kind of pissed off Daniel a couple times. The four crystals tie it all together. Okay. Uh, figured as much. I think I need to hit those guys from behind in order to do damage. I want these. But yeah, I'm, uh, enough about Terraria for the time being. Um, uh, yeah, one thing I will say about this game is that it's definitely um, uh, impressed me more than I was expecting. Because I was kind of curious, like, what exactly could this game do? that was better or just as good as Oracle of Seasons. To be fair, it's not... I, I wasn't like, I'm a, oh, this is going to be a bad game or anything, but... It's just that, uh, um, because I've heard so many times about um, uh, Oracle of Ages being the superior version, that I wasn't... That I'm, uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. Can I jump over this? No. So I think I need to... Ah, oh, fucked up. Okay. Okay, so the trick is I can't jump over those, but I can throw bombs over them. Oh, wait, no, that was correct. 
because I'm a, it moves that block out. Of the, if I move this block out of the way, I can throw a bomb over. Hit that. Then I can head around. Because I'm pretty certain I just need to push this up. Yep, and... Giving those can be pushed more than once. And let me get a small key. Yep. Okay. So the majority of this so far. Actually, hang on. Uh, no, there's no... Looks like I'm going to need to go all the way to the left. Okay. I don't think killing these guys does anything, so I'm just going to ignore them for the time being. Okay, so that's one way. So, um, this isn't a bad place to restock on bombs if necessary. Okay, so... I need to go downstairs somewhere. Yeah, I only need to use one bomb each. That looks a little bit like an arrow, but I don't think... No. Oh! Alright, so that's an exit. I can jump down this way and it can, um, it'll take me to the bottom floor. I need to push one of those statues down. I'm just gonna check over here real quick. Okay, so that's the way back. But if I flip this, go back around, I can um, uh, head over to the other area w once I circle around. Okay, so I'm just going to jump down first before I push any of the statues down. Okay, so stairs, entrance way, and I'm assuming I can't get to. Oh, maybe I can. No, I can't. That's a one way. Okay, so that's. Yeah, it's probably an exit. Got a mold on here. I think I should be able to just get that with my sword if it gets close enough. Yeah. Alright, so that's how I get to that side. Okay, uh, I need bombs for this. I think one of my favorite things about playing Zelda games um, uh, for the first time is um, uh, the puzzly dungeons. Cause, like, I'm pretty certain I said this during the last stream, but like, it was one of my it, it was one of my main complaints about Breath of the Wild is that um, uh, the puzzles were good, but like. The dungeon puzzles themselves weren't really great, and the majority of the puzzles just just result around one of one of four different things, really. Don't get me wrong; it's creative for doing only four puzzles, for doing only like four or five different themes, but still. All right, so I need to kill that Moldorm again. Nice, I think that was a double hit. Uh, no, I don't have a boomerang. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm head this way. Alright, so if I throw a bomb there, I can activate that switch. This isn't gonna move. It'll probably move once I hit the switch, because I'm pretty certain that's a living armor statue. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I get ya. Oh, never mind. I thought I'd need to, like, hit the switch again to turn it blue and turn it off. Alright, so I don't get the point of those statues, but... Um, that was at that hole, but... I think what it is is that I'm, uh... If I pushed those down, it would have killed all the enemies instantly because they were in the exact same positions. Okay. Oh, I get it. I'll take that. Alright, so I can hop down that way if I want to go back around. Uh, I don't want to move the map because I don't want to risk freezing the game. I think I'm supposed to kill that Armos. There's a, t there's a panel here. There we go. Alright, that's good. Okay, so three treasure chests there. And the boss is there as well. Okay. Alright, I think this is the third one. I think I remember... something. I'm a, I think those crystals affect something outside the dungeon. Because if memory serves me, I'm, uh, when I was um, uh, wandering around the island trying to get my stuff back from those tokes, um, uh, I ended up, I noticed that, um, uh, they mentioned something about a hero doing something. Okay, so no access to that. Uh, there's a treasure chest there, so there must be a way to gain entrance to it. Is it push one of these blocks? It might require the dungeon item. 